Hi guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you my collection of dance costumes. I decided to do this video because a couple of videos ago, I showed you my collection of figure skating dresses. And I think a lot of people like that video, so I decided to do another version of that and show you my dance costumes. I want to say the amount of costumes I have span across five years? Question mark. I actually danced for longer than five years, but those five years are the years that I was dancing in a studio. Just because I didn't start dance when I was like three, like most people, I actually started later. And I only danced in a studio when I was in elementary and middle school. In high school, I was still dancing, but I was no longer dancing at a studio. I was dancing at school because I was a dance major at my school. Which brings me back to why I only have full on costumes for five years. I haven't actually looked at these costumes in forever. It's been so many years i stuck these costumes into a box taped it up and put it on the top shelf of my closet now that i reopened the box today is going to be a day where i give myself a little flashback of my childhood in this video i will be showing you quite a few costumes even though it's only five years worth of costumes because each year i dance i took more than one class and i got a costume from each class i will be showing you costumes from my recreational classes and my competitive classes also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and let's just get into this video okay so i I think it would make more sense to start from the very beginning of my first year of dance and show you my costumes as I progress in year. So my first costume was for a hip hop dance and it is this red hoodie. You can't really see it, but these are just regular black sweatpants and a white baseball cap. That's the entire costume. This has got to be my plainest costume ever. This is the only year I took one style of dance just because it was my first time starting at a studio. I can't exactly remember why I only took one style of dance, but I want to assume it's because I wanted to like test the waters a little bit to see if I really enjoyed dancing. This costume was so big for me. I was eight and according to these labels, it says that these are a size youth large. I was hiking up these sweatpants all the way up to my stomach. Like I don't know why they would give an eight year old size youth large clothing. I don't know why it was so big on me because I'm sure they measured me. After taking that hip hop class at that studio that I will not name, I switched to another studio the following year and I started to take more classes there. The first costume of the following year I'm gonna show you is this ballet costume. It's hung upside down. I don't know if it was just a studio thing that they did that they hung all their costumes upside down, but you know, if you danced and you didn't, let me know because I want to know if it was just my studio that was just weird. Oh my gosh, look at this costume. Well, it's clearly orange and it has these little multicolored cubes and some sequins. There is so much going on here. I guess you can say this is my first real custom made costume. I remember I hated this costume just because it was so uncomfortable. I could not wait to get out of it. We also have this little fabric and it's like a choker. You tie it around your neck, which made the costume even more uncomfortable because it felt like you were choking. That same year, I also took tap. We had a pink skirt. We had this bright pink leotard with this fancy zebra color collar. Oh, and this is one of the most interesting parts of the costume. We had booties. Look at how cute these little socks are. Also, we had to provide our own sunglasses for this costume as well. I don't know where those sunglasses are anymore, but I probably purchased them from Walmart from the kids section or something like that. If I can remember, I think this dance is called All About Me. You know those dolls called Bratz? Yeah, I think it was a Bratz song. The last class I took that year was jazz. Well, instead of a leotard, we had a unitard. On top of this unitard, we put on this skirt. I think it's a skirt. How does this go? Oh, like this. Oh, we had this yellow ruffle skirt and then we had a giant yellow bow attached to it. Also, we had like a little jacket. We had to rhinestone these ourselves. I did a very poor job of gluing these rhinestones on because I could see all these glue stains everywhere. I should probably say this. I am terribly sorry I am showing you these costumes in pieces. I wish I could show you all the parts of the costume together, but obviously I can't because, you know, I can't fit into these anymore. The next year I added a class, so I took four classes. So my ballet costume that year was this blue one. Basically it's like a plain blue velvet top with some sequins running along the edge, plus this very long blue skirt. I don't know my dance costume terminology. I actually like this kind of costume because it was like simple at the top and then the bottom is where it got all fancy. Velvet was also really comfortable too, so it made me like the costume a little bit more. This skirt was definitely a tripping hazard for myself because I'm so clumsy. Moving on to my tap costume that year, this costume was 
pretty uncomfortable, not gonna lie. Also, I don't think it was that pretty either. We were wearing this like one piece dress that is all sequins. The end of the dress is like these little fringes. The back was also really weird. It had like an open back and then we just slipped our arms through these little armholes. Yes, you can call these straps, but I honestly think these are the weirdest straps ever and that's why I call them armholes because I don't know, the way they were attached, it was just really weird. It definitely wasn't normal at all. But yeah, this is all there is to the costume. It was just plain red with sequins. My jazz costume that year was actually one I actually really liked. It was this neon orange one piece with a bit of black. If I can remember, this dance was like a really edgy piece. It was kind of fitting because the skirt had a little slit. The back was definitely interesting. Kind of scandalous. I love it. I think in general, I fancied more of my jazz costumes than anything else. They always write your name on a piece of elastic inside the costume. They got my last name wrong. Well, they didn't put my full last name. They put the first letter of my last name. But they got that wrong as well because my last name doesn't start with a C. It's just with an A. So this label says Rochelle C, which is wrong. My fourth and last class that year was Acro. The costume was basically a unitard. I mean, it was just this navy velvet material with these pink sleeves and back. And I guess to complete the back, it was like a tie back, so you would tie these into a bow or something. This costume is kind of basic. I mean, it kind of makes sense just because it's acro and in acro, you really need to be able to move and be comfortable to be safe, I guess. The number of this dance was called Don't Stop Believing. But yeah, that's about it to this costume. The next year, which was like ages between 11 and 12, was the big year. This year, I did rec classes on top of competitive classes. This was the first and last year I did competitive. I feel like once you're in competitive for a lot of studios, you just stick with your competitive group but the studio I went to we did rec classes and then we did our competitive classes on top so this year I had four costumes that were for rec and then I had six costumes which was for competitive that means I had 10 numbers how did I remember 10 numbers I got no clue I don't really know how my 12 year old brain remembered 10 dances really relying on that muscle memory there starting with ballet again we had this green costume the top is green velvet with like swirls and then we have the same material kind of skirt again is this a little bow oh no it's a flower Oh, that's cute. I don't remember having that. The next costume is my tap costume. I actually really like this costume. This tap number, we were wearing these itty bitty little skirts. Well, not really a skirt because the bottom is a pair of shorts, but these shorts were attached with this little skirt thing. I don't know what it's called. And the top was a crop top. Well, more like something that looks like a sports bra. This itty bitty skirt and top was the entire costume. This costume also had like little arm, well not arm, wrist gloves. Literally just covered your wrist like this. Oh my God, this is like my teenage years, like the goth vibe that some people had where they would just wear these like arm gloves like this for like regular casual wear. Wearing the gloves like these was like a fashion trend. Did anybody else go through this phase or have friends that went through this phase? My jazz costume that year was this black and red dress with this white bow. I also really did like this costume as well. We were supposed to be cheerleaders, but I think my dance teacher was going for the unconventional cheerleader look. So then we landed on this. We were holding pom-poms for this dance. It was like a prop, but we didn't get to keep them. They belong to the studio. Real pom-poms are not the things with the stick and all the material coming out. I don't know what they're called, but you know the ones you could find very cheap from like Dollar M or something? Yeah, those are not real pom-poms. Real pom-poms are actually like, you know, an actual stick still, but it's not vertical. It's horizontal and has all the material coming out from both ends so that way the stick is like in the middle and I was like mind blown when I found that out. Like I did not know that's what real pom-poms were supposed to be. Looking at this costume now, we definitely did not look like cheerleaders. We look like we're attending a funeral. I think it's just the color combination of the black, red, and white just all paired together. I mean, obviously you wouldn't wear like, I guess white or like maybe red to a funeral, but I don't know, it just feels like you're attending a funeral when you look at this. My last rec class costume that year was Acro. The costume was this tank top one piece. It was a skin tight unitard from top to bottom. This costume was by far the hardest costume to put on, especially when you're all sweaty and you're trying to slip something on. It just doesn't go on. I definitely love how much contrast there is between the red, yellow, black, and white. It's a pretty basic costume, but I think it's actually a pretty nice costume. Moving on to my competitive costumes for that year. The first ballet dance I was in was a small group. We were marionette dolls. You know those dolls that are on strings? Yeah, we were trying to be those dolls. 
I guess that's kind of self-explanatory to why this costume was so loud and there's just so much going on. Like the colors are so bright and the patterns too, like who would ever wear stripes with polka dots? I'm pretty sure you clearly get the image that we were dolls. To make things even more loud, we had booties and these booties went all the way above our knee. We also have these two elastics where we have to attach one end to our wrist and the other end to our ankle. And that was to make us look more like marionette dolls. So we had to dance basically with our wrists and our ankles attached and it was definitely an interesting experience. Plus, you know those like Russian dolls where you had like the little red cheeks? We had to put like stickers on our face so we could have the red cheeks. There was just a lot going on in that costume. My other competitive ballet costume wasn't as bad as the doll one. This one is like this green and brownish color. But yeah, this costume was more simplistic and I actually really liked it. This dance, we had like a prop as well. We had hula hoops. And this is one of the years where we had to go to nationals in Las Vegas. The studio I went to purchased detachable hula hoops so then we could put it in our suitcase and once we got there we put the hula hoop together and then we had like um, a piece of gold fabric where we had to string the hula hoop with so that it would match the costume. The hula hoops were kind of flimsy like you could shake it and you could just see it just like wobble back and forth and it was just so funny. We also had arm gloves for this dance as well. Within my competitive numbers I also did two tap numbers. Basically this costume is like a cute version of the Tin Man. We were doing a song from Wizard of Oz. It was like ease on down the road I think. Everybody's costume was basically the same style but in their respective characters. My next tap costume, we were sailors. We had this one piece with like buttons here and then we had like this fringe bottom as well. This red little piece of fabric here was to put the ends of this handkerchief thing through. I don't know what it's called. I just remember this piece of fabric just like bobbing up and down sometimes when we were like doing some of the moves. To make us look like realistic sailors, we also had a sailor hat. How do I look? Okay, that's enough. Ow! That hurt. Oh, I can't forget the best part of this costume. The best part was that we had a little star on our booty. Out of my competitive numbers, I only did one jazz number. This dance was called Shake It Up and it was to the actual Shake It Up song. This costume was so uncomfortable, but I really liked this costume anyways. We had this bodysuit that had one sleeve only. There's no fabric on the other side, just one half of our body was showing. But you know, we had a sports bra to go underneath it. It was so difficult to tell which one was the front and the back. There's no label or anything. I kid you not, I'm 100% sure we actually wore this backwards sometimes. But since we couldn't tell which one was back or front, I think the only thing that mattered to us is that all of us were wearing the sleeve on the same arm. And then we had a pair of booty shorts to cover the leotard at the bottom. The last competitive number I had that year was a lyrical number. We had this pink flowy dress. The top has like a basic tank top look, but then we had this like sequin piece of fabric that went around our shoulders on one side of the shoulder. So it was kind of like a crossbody kind of look kind of thing. I don't know if you could see this, but the dress on one side is longer. So it was kind of on a slant. I definitely feel like having the dress part longer on one side makes it look a little bit nicer and fancy. Year. This was a very pretty elegant number and I loved it. I honestly believe that the costumes from the competitive numbers look so much better than the costumes from the recreational numbers. My last year dancing in a studio, I only did rec classes. I did two recreational classes. The first one being ballet. It's a ballet costume very different from the other ones I've had. The costume is basically this plain top with a very long skirt. This skirt is actually very heavy. This skirt is basically strips of the pattern fabric plus some of this light blue meshy material. This costume was a tripping hazard. The skirt was so long, I would take one step and I would just literally fall flat on my face. I feel like this dance was kind of like an unconventional ballet dance. I think it was like a mixture of ballet and modern. I'm not really too sure, I can't remember. My last class that year was an acro class. I believe the song was like an instrumental version of Bad Romance by Lady Gaga. This was the costume. It's a one piece unitard. As you can tell, they're long sleeves, but unlike the other costume, we have shorts for the bottom here instead of long pants. As you probably put together, this costume is yet again a skin tight unitard. And the best part of this was that we had a hood. Look at this little thing. Because it was an acro class, we literally look like jumping zebras. Yeah, this dance and this costume was um, definitely a time. All right guys, because that was my last costume, this brings me to the end of this video. It was honestly such a bittersweet moment looking back at these costumes because it's been so long. It's been a solid six years at least. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and seeing all my dance costumes from the past. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye now. If it's fine by you, I'll take the passenger seat.